There's too much hype in the lucid dreaming world, isn't there? So this is how to lucid dream in two months or less. Now, this is gonna be the most reliable, kind of safe, pretty realistic ways that you can lucid dream. Uh, and it's not gonna be like an overnight thing, so you can take the stress away. You don't have to get results tonight or even tomorrow. This is how to lucid dream in two months, the slow way. A bit more boring, but it seems that there's just too many clickbaity videos, uh, you know, people saying you can lucid dream instantly. Although that's sort of what people want to hear, it's not really realistic. Most people will lucid dream, probably take them a month or two. So here's how to lucid dream in two months, the slow way. So my name's Steph, I teach lucid dreaming and consciousness, and I'm often asked what the most reliable way to lucid dream actually is, something that would work kind of for everyone. Now, although there's no one size fits all lucid dreaming technique, there are some things that kind of apply to most people. So this is gonna capture probably 90% of you and if you do these things, you'll have a lucid dream within two months or less. More importantly, th this uh, technique or these collection of techniques, I should say, doesn't involve you waking up early, you won't need to set any alarms, and you will not need to take any lucid dreaming supplements. And I should clarify that none of those things are ever necessary for reliable, profound, and deep lucid dreams to happen. They, you can do them, but you don't have to do them, okay? So let's just get right into it. And if it seems like I'm repeating myself or you've heard this stuff before, then I do have more exciting videos on my channel. You can go check them out. Uh, but here's the first. Every single morning, you need to meditate for about 10 minutes, and you can just count your breaths from one to 10. Now, this is gonna basically raise your awareness and make it more likely you'll lucid dream. You can repeat this meditation in the evening. I like to do it both in the morning and in the evening, but you can pick and choose. You know, you don't have to do it both times. Next, you need to be doing reality checks during the day. Reality checks, well, you know what they are. It's kind of when you test whether you're dreaming or not. Uh, ask yourself, am I dreaming? At the same time, try and do something impossible. Like try and uh, pu push your finger through your palm, try and breathe through your nose while you're pinching it, try and look at text and see if it will change. These are all reality checks. You can check my other video for the full description of them. But as you do the reality check, really doubt whether you're awake or not. And a lot of people get this wrong because they're trying to rush it. They're trying to just count up and get to 20 reality checks per day because that's what they've heard they need to do, which is kind of true, but none of the reality checks will work unless you're really mindful in each reality check, if, unless you really pay attention to your awareness and to your thoughts while you're doing the reality check. And now dream journaling, write your dreams down every morning, you know that stuff, but specifically write down your dream signs and every time you read back your dreams and you look at your dream signs and you realize, okay, this is something I keep dreaming about this orange cow, let's say. So you tell yourself, every time I see an orange cow, I will do a reality check. This triggers your prospective memory, which is your ability to remember things in the future. So hopefully the next time you see the orange cow, you will actually lucid dream because you will do a reality check. Next, you need to slow down your approach. Uh, slow down your approach, try one technique or one thing every week. You know, do the wake back to bed tonight, do the dial tomorrow, the wild or the filed the next day. Don't do any of that. Focus on one technique per week at the most, maybe even less, maybe one every two weeks. And instead focus on the other things, the basic things, meditation, dream journaling, reality checks, awareness, and just your intention. Your intention is much, much more powerful than you think. And just by thinking, I want to lucid dream, if you focus on that strongly enough, you will lucid dream just from the intention of wanting to do it because it is to do with your subconscious mind and also your intention consciously. So try and set a really strong intention that you want to lucid dream this week. And just doing that will have a big difference. And the next, sadly, limit your exposure to stories, forums, especially subreddits like forward slash lucid dreaming. These are very bad places to learn about this stuff because you're gonna be hearing not only the good stories, but also the bad stories. You're gonna be hearing people's experiences where things have gone wrong, maybe they had nightmares, sleep paralysis. You don't wanna hear those things because if you hear them, they enter your subconscious, you start expecting that you will have those experiences. That's very bad uh, for your lucid dreaming practice. That will basically just limit you. Uh, you will either get, typically in a, in a subreddit or a forum, you tend to get one of two things. You either get someone really exaggerating things and telling you how incredibly insane their lucid dream was and how you can do the same in 2.8 seconds, or you have people sharing their negative stories and scaring you away or imposing a self-limiting belief on you subconsciously. So just avoid them entirely, avoid the forums, and uh, make sure you focus on positive stories and just inspiring yourself. Next, make sure you don't watch any hype videos. Don't try and expect that you'll lucid dream tonight. Remember, this is about lucid dreaming slowly and reliably. So just focus on taking a minute to slow down and try techniques really, really slowly, one every week at the most, and focus on really the intention behind what you're doing. 
Now, if you want me to help you a little bit more, I have a free mini course, uh, which is like a series of emails, which will help guide you through lucid dreaming and take you by the hand. They can act as reality check reminders. You know, you can just tell yourself every time I get this email, I'll do a reality check. There'll be maximum one per day for the next week or so. And you can get them at howtolucid.com forward slash gift. Uh, or you can just check the link in the description. If you go there, you'll not only get the free sort of mini course that will teach you how to do this, but you will also get a series of uh, free advices, tips, lessons, and a PDF will be immediately sent to you if you sign up now, uh, which will get, basically show you more about lucid dreaming, tell you a bit more about my story, and explain how to do it in more detail than I've explained here. So go and check that out, howtolucid.com forward slash gift. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment letting me know what you think and more importantly, what you would do in a lucid dream. And I'll shout the best one out in my Instagram story.